So I was recently on a walking tour of the Roman Colosseum and Forum in Italy with a tremendous amount of history. And of course the Forum has a lot of uh, Roman history and nods towards the Roman gods of ancient times. And our tour guide, it was very interesting, our tour guide made a point at one point to stop and tell us about something in one of the uh, ancient relics that represented the goddess Nike. And he said at the time, he said, I'm really not telling you this because the goddess Nike was terribly important or because this specific piece of, piece of architecture is tremendously important. I'm telling it to you because I know that you will all remember it. Because everybody remembers the Nike brand name and the Nike logo. And the tour guide understood the power of branding. And he brought up the Nike name and the Nike logo, which the logo, the Nike swoosh, is said to represent one wing of the goddess Nike. And I use this as an example of the power of a great logo um, is tremendous. It's visual, right? And a great logo is simple, but it conveys a message that ties into the overall brand. So for Nike, it was about speed and victory and athletic success. And that's where this wing representing flying and this goddess of victory are a perfect uh, symbol. Amazon's logo is another tremendously simple but brilliant logo. If you look carefully, it's more than just an arrow. It's an arrow that connects the letters A to the letter Z, which subtly tells the viewer that Amazon carries everything from A to Z. It also looks like a smile when you look at it with the letters Amazon above it and the uh, arrow below it. It could be a mouth smiling. So it's a very simple logo, but it carries a meaning that is relevant to their brand. FedEx is another tremendously simple, strong, creative valuable logo. You would say, you might say, what's creative about it? It's just the letters FedEx. Well, if you look at the last E and the X in the white space, it actually forms an arrow moving forward because FedEx is about moving your products or your packages forward and getting them delivered. So um, take a look at that FedEx logo. Next time you see it, I think you'll, you'll find it quite interesting. Um, Another thing about logos that some people don't realize is they should be registered and protected separately from word marks, separately from brand names, because the logo design by itself, whether it's that Amazon smile or the Nike swoosh, is often used without the words. And even when it is used with the words, it's a different protection from the words themselves. So ideally, brands want to protect their name apart from their logo, apart from their slogan, and that's the way that you get the maximum protection for your logo.